Until recently, one of the fastest growing economies in Africa, Angola is suffering from poor human development outcomes and a sluggish economy. However, the vast and natural resource-rich country has significant potential. A new report from the Institute for Security Studies uses the International Futures Modeling Platform to investigate Angola's future to 2050. It explores the impact of ambitious but realistic interventions to empower women and enhance education, improve agriculture, invest in basic infrastructure, cut subsidies for the wealthy, and accelerate the transition to renewable energy and improve governance. Angola has the fifth youngest population in the world, and it is growing rapidly. As a result, the country will not enjoy the extra economic momentum that a large working age population can create. Rather, the large number of child dependents will continue to constrain economic growth beyond mid-century. Most Angolans do not have access to clean water and sanitation facilities. This has led to high infant and maternal mortality rates and the large burden of communicable diseases like malaria and diarrhea. Girls and women in particular face cultural and economic barriers to education and healthcare. Women are more than twice as likely than men to have not attended any school. Moreover, most women do not have access to the family planning and health resources they need and want. An estimated two out of five women want to use modern contraceptives, but do not owing to social or economic factors. Meanwhile, Angola's oil resources have not translated into improved livelihoods. In 2014, the fall in oil prices led to a dramatic decline in incomes. One out of two Angolans is multidimensionally poor, while one out of three is in severe poverty. In the rural provinces that cover most of Angola's vast territory, most communities live in dire poverty and the country has been unable to utilize its abundant agriculture potential. To set itself on a better developmental path, the government of Angola needs to return to the basics. Provide clean water and sanitation to its large and growing population. Empower women by lowering the barriers they face to quality education and healthcare, particularly reproductive healthcare. Target subsidies at those in greatest need invest in agriculture, and free up funds for these urgent needs by reducing military spending. Finally, ensuring inclusive, sustainable economic growth over the long term will require a deliberate shift away from oil and towards renewable energy. Find out more at www.issafrica.org.